Now, something that China's been going on about, as you all know, is this Huawei thing. Okay? Huawei. <laughs> I thought I'd remind you all about this hysteria that's been going on in China. So here's a little bit about be what's been going on. This guy's got a mullet. Yeah, he's just going on about like, you know, if you love your country, you know, we've got to support Huawei and all that nonsense. Huawei, Huawei! <laughs> this guy is so excited to explain. He can't wait for you to, if you... Listen to what he said. He's, he can't wait to show you how well the Huawei Mate 60 performs. And he's like, let's show uh, the Huawei to the world. Let's, sh let's show ourselves to the world. The world has to see how great Huawei is. That I kind refuse of thing. to believe this guy is taking this seriously. Well, if you watch the whole video, yeah, yeah, which sure. I th thankfully cut the okay. video out, okay. he actually has like side-by-side -side comparisons with the Huawei Mate 60 and some other random older Android phone and the Huawei Mate 60 is faster. And he's like, he's actually like seriously impressed. I, I, I He's probably no, having no, no, it no, up. No, 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 I'm saying like, I want to believe that this guy's parody, parodying all the love for the Huawei, like the ra rabid love. I, I would hope so. Yeah, yeah. I hope I so. Anyway, I thought this is kind of funny. Okay, check this out, okay? Because maybe you'll notice something here. I'll get us out of here. All right, so... I refuse to believe this. It's too insane. Th there have been, there've been multiple of this, it. but there's something, you should, there's something you should know what? about this gentleman over here. What? Take a look. I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> That's he an has iPhone. an iPhone. <laughs> that's an iPhone. And that's an and iPhone. That's autonomous. <laughs> yes, I mean, if you're going to do that, at least have a freaking Huawei phone in your hand, yeah. not an iPhone 14 or whatever it is. It'd be multiple. Soundtrack. Yeah, it is. There'd be multiple instances, though. I love the yeah. See, like it's multiple. It's yeah. No, I know. Huawei I know. has become this like uh, bulwark religious, or whatever. Like a this religious symbol. It's, it's like the front lines of nationalism yeah. for China. Yeah. It is now the thing, and they've loved this release of this Huawei Mate 60. It's been the biggest gift to the nationalists Freaking ever. Like, yeah, they they're like this shows the rest of the world that you know China is strong. This is a shit phone. <laughs> yes. Sorry, a Huawei Mate yeah. 60 Pro. Yeah, we'll get into that a little bit. <laughs> And you've got like this lame actor. <laughs> this guy, I got a backstory in this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show first. Yeah. I'm Pro Max. It's kind of creepy. Gross. Can you go back to the uh, mustache? The, oh, the mustache man? guy? Yeah. I'll go back to him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, just a funny uh, we have to explain to people what's going on. Like, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. There's he, backstory on this. Well, uh, this guy's smashing his iPhone because it's the patriotic thing to do. Yeah. Oh yeah, people don't understand. Yeah. Okay. It's like because right now it's new, by the way, which is a lie. It turns out, by the way, because the reason he's smashing, he made this big scene that he's an he actor. Bought, yeah, he said he bought a phone from Apple. This whatever it's thirteen, 13 Pro Pro Max. Pro Max. He bought it. It only lasted a year and a bit, and then it was faulty. And he took it back to Apple, and they said they'd fix it under warranty. But when they opened it up, they, they said, sorry, it's been modified. We can't cover it under warranty. So then he's like, well, screw that. So then he went to smash it. Okay? But on camera, he said, here's an iPhone. It's brand it's new. It's brand new. But then people dug into it, and yeah. then they figured out that he actually bought it from a refurbished store. Yeah. So he bought a refurbished iPhone from some like... So an actor. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, yeah. backstory in this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's, <laughs> where's, where's your backstory? Funny. Yeah. <laughs> very funny. Mm -hmm. um, he's a semi-famous, like, uh, patriotic actor, meaning that he's in pretty much everything he's in or it has acted it's in. Like it's like a communist It's like a commie thing. It's like, uh, you know, the, the star is red over China or like uh, yeah. some some uh, serial TV drama where they fight the Japanese and, mm -hmm. you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. He's in like, tw I think he's like 20 film credits, like that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, exactly. And... Uh, <laughs> People know him because he looks, he's a real Handsome short. man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's a real nugget of a guy, <laughs> yeah. right? He's a short guy. Yeah. He looks kind of silly. Mm -hmm. kind, 
you know, it could be on, it could be a Lord of the Rings spin-off, <laughs> sure, you know, sure. dwarf type Yeah, may, it might be, yeah. I'm talking about the actual race of dwarves yes. in Lord of the Rings. Yeah, not short people. He could fit, he could fit right into there. Yeah. And uh, he's got the weird mustache. Mm. I mean, he, I don't even know. This guy's, he's a character, <laughs> Yeah, right? he's a character. But he apparently was having trouble finding work uh, during COVID because they weren't shooting shows. Yes. And he obviously doesn't make a ton of money. Like, he's mm. a... He's a method actor for like communist yeah. serial dramas, right? Correct. Not yeah. some of the shit you eat. Yes. The stuff that's like episode eleven thousand twenty six of killing know, Japanese. Of killing yeah. Japanese. And he um so he's having a hard time finding work and he went on the uh but he's like a party member and stuff, so I yeah. highly doubt he needed money. No, he but he needed the fame. I think. yeah, he needed people to pay attention he, to him again. Yeah, so he goes on and he started doing like live streams on like Douyin or something. Yeah. Douyin or Kwaiso, I can't remember. And he was selling tea eggs. Yes. Um, and tea eggs are like the most basic thing you buy in China. It's, yeah. They're, they're nice. Cheap. They're cheap. They're they're I like hard them. boiled eggs, but they're soaked in like it's soy like sauce. The, it's like the piss eggs, but they're soaked in like yes. a, a tea with soy sauce kind of a you mixture. Show, show it so you can see what it looks like. Oh, yeah, like. sure. So, Just imagine so this sure. is not urine. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> what do you oh, mean no. imagine? Yeah. Yeah. Imagine like that. that's mm-hmm. not urine. <laughs> so, it's, <laughs> it's eggs that are cracked, yeah. they're hard boiled, yeah. and then soaked in this... Uh, uh, soy sauce mixture yeah. and they have like a nice savory taste to it right mm-hmm. but that to sell tea eggs would be a, it's almost a euphemism for being poor yeah because only a poor person would be selling tea eggs on the side of the road it means you're really scraping to get by yeah because the profit margins yeah are you're like so making low. like 50 like, maybe cents an egg chinese chinese cents, cents, yeah, yeah. yeah you'd have to sell a thousand of them to like afford anything yeah like a yeah. night out at a restaurant so obviously yeah. the guy didn't need the money to do this. No, it he's was an like, actor. He was it's trying to get yeah. like, you know, whatever. Anyway, then he started selling other crap, so like low, low, you know, profit margin items. Yeah. And then he got attention, but mm-hmm. he got the wrong kind of attention because then people were like, lol, like this dumbass is selling, yeah, selling TX. TX. <laughs> he was yeah. scumbag. Yeah, exactly. Like the whole Chinese populace was making fun of him. And then mm-hmm. he started crying and he was yeah. like, I'm not selling TX to make money. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he actually, it had the, the effect that, he should have yeah people are like yeah he's, he's yeah exactly i'll buy some from you to support <laughs> yeah, you yeah, exactly. and he's like i don't i'm not trying to make money from <laughs> tx anyway yeah. this guy is a tradition of trying to get attention you see anyway the thing is um before we even continue with this the chinese government has kind of for a long time done this this thing where they basically banned iphones and foreign yeah. phones from any government job yeah okay and I know people that just work in normal just companies yeah. where the bosses basically told them, listen, don't bring your iPhones into work anymore. Yeah. We've been told you're not yeah. allowed to. That's so right. Just don't bring them into work anymore. You've got to bring in a, a domestic phone. So you're right. Huawei or you're right. Xiaomi or Oppo or whatever, which is typical of what China does. When they want their own product to succeed, they just ban the foreign product. Yeah. So right yeah. now, of course, the Huawei Mate 60 is making this big push. Yeah. They want the domestic phone to be bought by everyone. And the best way to do that is to ban the opposition. Yeah. So they've put out this mandate, basically. And they've also put out a tentative mandate that they're going to be banning it from any kind of company that has anything to do with China. At the, the, same, government, yeah. at the same time, mm-hmm. China does not want to publicize this because yeah. they want a hospitable uh, business environment for foreign companies yeah. to still invest into China. Yeah. So it's this weird mm-hmm. kind of like... It's they're doing, yeah, approach. they're doing it, but they're not outright doing. Yes. They're doing it behind yes. closed doors. They're trying to discourage people from buying iPhones, basically. Anyway, so let's continue. This guy smashes his phone, and a lot of people have been doing this whole thing. Like, I'm no, never buying an iPhone ever again. I'm just going to buy Huawei yeah. or that kind of. Pro Max. <laughs> I'm not selling T A. No. <laughs> This is just representative of the whole shill scene because pretty much if you go on Twitter or on YouTube, every single shill has been just Huawei this, broke sh- sanctions, you know, America lost, you if know. If you had software to like Huawei. figure this out, yeah. you could definitely see there was a mandate from the government that oh, told yeah. all these guys to talk about the Huawei. Yeah. Because it was all at the same time. Correct. It's crazy the amount of absolute nonsense that's been coming out. And again, I explained this last time, but the whole point behind these uh, big sort of propaganda campaigns from the shills and the government is basically to tell the rest of the world, hey, if you don't sell your shit to us, we're going to be forced to innovate. It's not to sell phones. No. Because why would an American or a British YouTuber 
promote a phone that doesn't exist in their own country. Yeah, can't be sold. Can't make be sense. sold here. Why no. are you promoting this, right? Yeah, the whole point is they want to try and scare the West into yeah. dropping sanctions. Yeah. And they're like, hey, you know what? We're just going to innovate if you don't sell stuff to us. So you better sell stuff to us. Guess That's what? basically it. Sanctions work. They, and it worked very well in this case. <laughs> anyway, let's continue a little bit because unfortunately, all this hype, all this nationalist crap, all this let's ban the iPhone. And remember the Global Times? We mm, showed this last yeah, time. Yeah, oh, the irony is rich. By the way, the Global Times has been nonstop for like a week, just been ragging on Apple, like how crap Apple is and how Huawei is crap so great. Like, yeah, exactly. Right? Ta take a look at this we showed last time, but it's just... You know, these kind of stupid memes. This is the official well, this Chinese ties into press. what they're doing now. Yeah, you'll see because yeah. they actually, yeah. Global Times has something else, which we're going to show in a minute. Guess what? This crap didn't work. <laughs> it was a loud horn. Yep. Now in China, Shanghai's flagship Apple store saw long queues of people picking up their iPhone 15. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Excited customers lined up at the main gate of the biggest Apple store in Beijing on Friday, oh, waiting no. to purchase the yeah. tech giant's most recent flagship smartphone, iPhone 15. Yeah, so basically, um, the online pre-orders were sold out for the iPhone oh, 15 Pro Max in less, in less than a minute. Oh, less than oh. one minute. All websites that have this option to buy iPhones and stuff were completely sold out. All the pre-orders were sold out. Oh. Okay? The lines and the queues are there, self-evident. So wait a um, minute. You, you're telling me. Let yeah. me try to wrap my head around this. Yeah. you telling me that a Chinese person would rather spend the same amount of money to buy a phone that has five-year newer technology than the Huawei? Yeah. Because <laughs> it turns <laughs> out this whole patriotic tax, as they call it, an IQ tax, it works on certain people, right? Yeah, but yeah. people that actually have money in China, they want good quality things, Yeah. okay? And they all know that buying a Huawei, they understand. Okay, by the way, these pictures, you can see who, who I got them from on um, Instagram. He's a he's a proper like photojournalist in Beijing. Oh, nice. And he shared this on his Instagram. He took these pictures for Bloomberg News. Okay, and let's you can, read the thing. It says, uh, iPhone 15 begins sales in Beijing, China. This morning, no signs of Chinese <laughs> nationalism or economic crisis. Yeah. You know? Yeah iPhone is like a cult in China. Yeah. I've never seen in my life. I, I understand Apple products. It's kind of a cult everywhere, to be honest. But in China, it's next level. Yeah. You know, it's a status symbol. Yeah. It always has been a status symbol. And it's people just don't want to settle for less. Mm -hmm. People only ever buy other phones in China if they cannot afford. An yeah. IPhone. And again, I do want to be fair. The average Chinese person not in a city center cannot afford. No, an they, can't. they can't. That's outlandish. Yes. Like that's out of the question. Yep. Uh, so don't think that this is representative of like the no. poor people. No, no. China. I'm talking yeah. about middle class yeah. in the cities, you know, uh, upper class. Abs absolutely. Middle and upper class. They will always have the latest iPhone, the latest iPhone. It's a thing. Yeah. It's almost a religion. Every year they upgrade. It's better. Yeah. <laughs> why would you not buy the better thing? Again, yeah. Why would you not? The iPhone 15 is far superior than like the this. Huawei Mate Pro. It's like this. Yeah. The Both phones cost about the same thing, right? Yeah. But it, to put it in perspective of a car, would mm -hmm. you rather have that uh, Range Rover mm -hmm. or the Land Wind, which was the copy worse, worse, everything about it's worse, Right, yeah. it looks similar, yeah. but everything about it, it's got a worse engine. It's got all domestic, you know, materials. Yeah. It's not going to last very long, right? Sure. What would you rather have if those both cost the same? Obviously, you'd go for the real product. It's one thing if one is ten grand and one's a hundred grand. Yeah. But if they both cost the same, where's the benefit anymore? Yeah. Right. Exactly. There is no benefit. Um, anyway, as you can see, look at the Global Times all of a sudden just, changing their tune. Guys, if you pay attention to one thing in this episode, it's this, the irony. Yeah. So the Global Times, remember, this is the mouthpiece that was mocking the iPhone yes. the whole time and saying like, oh, there's no innovation, it's it sucks, fail. and Huawei has yeah. destroyed sanctions. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they said, as some foreign media continue to speculate that hashtag Apple may face risks in China... What do you mean foreign media? You did it yourself. <laughs> they did yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Are you speaking about yourself? Mm -hmm. The Global Times observed long queues of consumers at one of Apple's stores in Beijing CBD on Friday for the iPhone 15 pickup. This demonstrate that demonstrates Apple enjoys good business environment in the China. In the China. <laughs> the China. In the China. Yeah. In the China. Yeah, I we mean, can sail the seven seas. Anyway, so once again, this really just shows you how 
much BS the propaganda is because they just change whenever but they there, want. There's two purposes here. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. see, the first one didn't. The first one didn't work. The idea yeah. that iPhone sucks. Yes. iPhone doesn't have the same stuff that Huawei has. Yeah. Huawei will conquer the market because Chinese people are patriotic and will buy the Huawei yes, over the yes. iPhone. The iPhone's going to be real bad because yeah. it doesn't do the cool stuff that the Huawei does. Mm-hmm. Then. Chinese people go out and say, what are you talking about? Yeah. We're everywhere. We're buying the iPhone. They vote with their feet. You can't hide that. No, you can't hide it. There's a lot of things in China they'll domestically try to hide things like this. But for the English language media that they're trying to get us and everyone else to see, they can't hide that. They've seen the lines. They've seen the footage, right? Yeah. So now what do they do? They say, oh, well, actually, iPhone's fine. Yeah. And look, the economy's doing well. Yeah. And look, you everyone's, invest, everyone's lining it. up. It's a conducive business environment to do business yes. in China. Everything yes. is a okay. Yeah, which is a bunch of nonsense. Yeah, yeah, to it's the moon. it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, the moon. The moon. <laughs> you know, here's here's the thing: the amount of uh, media that's been coming out saying that iPhone's going to fail in China. iPhone 15, no one cares about it yeah. anymore. They've lost interest. It's not going to sell because Huawei's just come out and, you know, all this kind of stuff. There was a lot of that. A lot of the shills put stuff out like that. A lot of the Chinese media and even foreign media. Yeah. Because you know what? A lot of foreign media, they're kind of bought and paid for in a lot of ways by the the Chinese Yeah, maybe if it's not direct, it's just because they want to hit certain eyes. Yeah, or they see the trends and they get the... The thing is, all foreign media has to get their information from Chinese media. Yeah, it's not even the media outlet's fault. There's a lot of yeah. amazing information coming out of yes. great big outlets. But you saw a lot of the uh, foreign like yeah. media fawning over the new Huawei, like sure. how it's just destroyed, like, you For know, sure. and it's going to really put a damper on Apple sales. And you know what? Even Apple stock dived massively because dove, of all yeah. this news. Yeah, dived, dove. <laughs> yeah, it dove. It dived sometimes. It's the cliffs of Dover. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, it <laughs> dove. Yeah. Their, their uh, shares dove. Yeah. Well, Dividend. Yeah. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Divided. They, <laughs> they went down. Yeah. Okay. The down. shares went down because of all this negative news. Shall I? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Um, and it it's you see how it works, right? Yes. It's yes. just they pump this it's out. It's so true. It's like it went with COVID. All the information when it comes from that one source of China, it's, it's no one's fault. Yeah. You have to take what they say. I do think I see a lot of great big media outlets doing investigative journalism like we, we'll see later with that human rights thing we're yeah, talking yeah, about. Yeah. But like when it comes to like products or figures and stuff, there's nothing else to go yeah. on other than Chinese government figures. Correct. Right? Anyway, let's um, let's see what's uh, really going on. Here's a Huawei store. Let's <laughs> There's no one in the Huawei store. And this was taken... Before the iPhone 15 sale, so this is like uh, a from from a couple of days ago. Oh, the Apple gosh. store was full of people still looking, even though the iPhone 15 hadn't been released. This is from like three days ago. You know what's weird? There's still like a little piece of me that's rooting for like this to work because it's like an underdog. It's like oh, you know, but it's what, just Huawei. The, yeah, the, no, not Huawei. Just like in general, like something to be proud of for for China and stuff. Sure. But it's it's bad. It's but not a good product. You shouldn't be proud of something that's completely based on theft. That's what I'm saying. You can't and it's inferior. Be. You can't be proud. No, of you it. can't. Right. And it uses a bunch of foreign bits anyway. Yeah, I want to quote somebody that you showed me the other day. It was a yeah. Chinese influencer. He uh, he said, "The lens of the camera on the Huawei mm-hmm. is made by Leica, which is German. Yes, yes. And the camera itself is yeah, made sensor, licensed yeah. by Sony. It's made by Sony. So every picture, I mean, but they license yeah, to use yeah. it." Every picture you take with a Huawei Mate 60 Pro is made in Japan. Yes. So I know. what are you proud of? Yeah, exactly. And I thought he said it better than I, I ever yeah. could. Yeah, I think that's actually a very good point. Yeah. Because, you know, considering right now China's boycotting all the Japanese products because mm. of the whole nuclear mm. water thing, you would think they'd boycott Huawei since it's got, you know, Japanese camera in it. Yeah. And other Japanese well, parts. I mean, what are you proud of then? Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> it's kind of silly. Now, we cannot talk about Apple and China without this. Now, this happened just before the iPhone 15 was sold. So remember, prior to, because the iPhone 15 only went on sale like today, right? Pretty much, you know, today in China, which was, you know, about like 10 hours, 20 hours ago, whatever. Prior to that, the amount of media and nationalist crap that was coming out of China to say how bad Apple is and how good Huawei is led to this kind of mass hysteria. Yeah. Okay, so not only did you have these people predicting that Apple wouldn't sell anything and Huawei is only going to sell all this crap, you had it's s- over. You had stuff like this. <laughs> now this is really ridiculous. Chinese netizens started to attack Apple to say 
that Apple purposefully on the Chinese website put an ugly looking Chinese or well, Asian person. Okay. That, they said that. Yeah, they said. And that was a popular opinion. Yeah. And okay, here was what the narrative was. The narrative was, is that Apple on purpose picked a picture of an ugly Asian Chinese person and put it on only the Chinese website. Okay. The Chinese Apple website to insult Chinese people. That was literally, if you can read the Chinese, that's what they're saying, okay? Now, um, first of all, yeah. they were saying that the person, if you look at the person in the pictures, it's like a they've got like the, the ponytail, right? Yeah. And they were saying they're trying to stereotype Chinese people like Qing Dynasty, yeah. uh, you know, Chinese people, yeah. the way that those like, f- like back in the like, day, those, yeah, that, that, we, that's, yeah, that, whatever yeah. that was called, that, this, that haircut. This haircut, <laughs> yeah. which, I mean, let's, let's be honest, it's kind of dumb, okay? It's a dumb haircut, okay? It is just dumb. Like, What's your theory about that? My theory of this hairstyle, okay, and hear me out here, is that the emperor was going bald, okay? And he probably had a mad, bad widow's peak. And so he didn't want to look bad, so he forced everyone else to shave their head so that, you know, they look the same as him. I'm, I'm dead serious. It's going to be something like that. That's my theory. My devil's advocate here is that <laughs> their that's bad haircuts a... have been all... Think about it sure. like a page boy, like a little Lord yeah, but... Butler. What about mullets? Mullets yes, are coming okay, back. Okay, I get it, but you don't shave half... You know how hard that is to maintain? Mullets look worse than this to me. Really? Mullets are horrific. Why would you be half bald? Half, I think there's it's like a half moon cookie, you know what I mean? <laughs> I just got, I just got. This is my theory. Yes. It's just in a theory, but bring I really it, think bringing yeah. it back. Yeah, has nothing to do okay. with this. Okay, but okay. The reason why they're insulted by this idea that someone would have a hairstyle like this from the Qing yeah, dynasty, that's the excuse. Is that in a lot of you know the whole century of humiliation? Yeah. Yeah. Whenever you see like opium dens yeah. and people smoking opium, they they always have this hairstyle because it's from that time. Sure. Okay? And a lot of those sort of racist yellow peril cartoons yeah. and stuff use that kind of hairstyle because right. that that's what Chinese people looked like back then. Right. They all had that hairstyle. Right. You know? So they're saying that Apple on purpose put someone with that hairstyle to basically insult China on I the mean, website. That is just shocking yes. that someone could have that opinion. But it went it gets viral. It gets better. Yeah, though. it does. So it went viral across all of China that Apple was doing this only on the Chinese website and only to insult China. Turns out this picture of this person was on all Apple websites, not the Chinese one only. And the icing on the cake is that it wasn't even a Chinese person. It wasn't even an Asian person. It was a Native American woman. Native so, American. So they... Indian. They had... Well, they're Native American. Yeah, uh, in- Indians, right? Not from India. No, no. <laughs> anyway, yeah. You know, American Indian. Yeah, Na- American Indians. Yeah. Native American. They. So you're yeah. saying the Chinese you can't, you can't public... Say Indian? I think it's it's li- falling out of favor. I don't think is it's it? bad. Really? I just think it's falling out of favor. So it's cowboys and Native Americans? I think it, in, it doesn't matter. I'm just saying, can, okay, I, can I go yeah, on my please, point? Please, oh, please. gee, will it? Please do. Oh, derail yeah. over Oh, there. man. Anyway, um, so the Chinese populace got up into a nationalist fervor. Yes. Blaming Apple right before the launch to yes. try to tarnish Apple's Yes, again, image. trying to attack Apple, yeah. By saying that an image that they used across all of their platforms of an employee at Apple. Yep. Who was Native American was done on purpose to make Chinese people look bad. Yes. And then what was the response when the truth came out? They still had like polls to vote whether or not this was an appropriate image or not. And the vast majority of people said that it was an inappropriate image. And people were, <laughs> say, people were saying things like, it doesn't matter if they're, they're Native American, they still did it on purpose and it makes me feel uncomfortable. And they did it, they should take our Chinese people's feelings into consideration. So <laughs> still it's bad that a human being who yes. is not Chinese, yes. their image was used on their own company's website because you should worry about if Chinese people are going to find it offensive. Yeah. That's... One of the most ridiculous, stupid things I've heard this year. Not only is it stupid, it's incredibly insulting and racist yes. towards <laughs> yes. Native Americans yeah. because you basically just call them ugly. Yeah, and not worthy of looking like Chinese people. Yes, that's what they said. Yeah, it's it's like holy crap, man! It's not they're not even Chinese. You know, you not even like Asian. So what are you doing here? I'm not into this whole like cancel identity this or that mm. but if i was a native american i would be pretty mad yeah i would be like what what 
Exactly. What? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> but again, the only country where you can get away with such blatant racism and nonsense like this is China, because for some reason they get a free pass. You know what I mean? Nobody cares. It's nationwide, huge polls, huge amounts of nationwide stuff Nationwide is on. not on your side. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Shout out to our Native yeah. American audience, by the way. We met a few of you guys in uh, a couple places on our sub yep, and absolutely. It was awesome to, to learn some stuff from you guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I got to tell you, man, it's just, uh, it, it's it's a clown show. They were trying everything to bring Apple down. And that's just one of these stupid things. Yeah. Anyway, um, this is another thing that just kind of happened. You know, Huawei set up a massive big store in Vienna, okay? Yes. A flagship store in Vienna. But it apparently recently just quietly closed and was renamed to Zero on Google Maps. Hmm. Interesting that. Austria is not a uh, enemy of China, by the way. This is a country yeah. that used part of Huawei to roll out their 5G network. Yeah. And stuff. This is not a country that's like opposed. Yeah, to... they can still sell Huawei. Yeah, this there. isn't like, uh, oh, we got to shut everything down because we got to follow whatever law. Sanctions Austria's, or something. Yeah, yeah Austria is doing, they like to do their own thing. <laughs> that's um, right. Probably the spy hub of the world, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, oh, what's that city? What's Don't the know. main city Vienna. in Austria? Vienna. Yeah. <laughs> That's where all like the spies from other countries meet, apparently. Interesting. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it's kind of cool. You know what's not cool is this. I like uh, Vienna sausages. They come from there. What? <laughs> <laughs> Ser- seriously? That's like when you're on food stamps, bro. <laughs> Vienna sausages. Yeah, bro. dude. Meat logs. Yeah. Have you ever seen them called meat logs? No. I've seen them no. called meat logs. Really? Yeah. I feel like uh, if you get real ones from Vienna, they're probably good. I bet they're excellent <laughs> sure. if you go to Vienna to get them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, to bring it back to you. Sure, sure. We're getting sure. off track. Okay. Um, very interesting to see these uh, close without a trace, and that there was no hub up around. Yeah, it. yeah. They don't. Huawei doesn't want people to know that. Hey, you know, our our shops across the world are potentially closing down here. Yep. <clears throat> so, especially yeah. since they're apparently just amazing world leaders in technology. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Here's the thing, though, okay? Let's let's be real about the Huawei Mate 60. There have been quite a few videos coming out on how bad they are. Yes. Okay? Yes. I'm sure lots of people have been having mediocre to acceptable experiences with their Huawei Mate 60s. Yeah. But I thought I'd just throw one or two in here. They've been hanging. Look at this. By the way, people have been making a lot of fun because of the stupid <sighs> meme advert that they had for Huawei. Mm. You can always hear it in the background. So yes. people have been dubbing that onto their faulty phones. I saw some. <sighs> Do I even want to get into? It? I saw some videos. So some people. color channels. Some color oranges, channels, oranges are, and greens. By the way, Casey didn't take that wrong. Color channels are these channels that we can't even keep track of the names because they're the same channel, but, but just they have different, under different colors. colors. Yeah. So we just call them color yeah. channels. They're yeah. like orange one. There's a green one, mm-hmm. and they do China news, and that's fine. A lot of it's great. Yeah. Um, but they're they don't do fact checking though. Oh that's the gosh. problem. They just throw shit out there. People were making pretty funny memes in China, yeah. blaring this advertisement. Yeah. And they were like, I hear it everywhere because it's so annoying. Yeah. And they were like, Look, when I charge my phone, I can't even hear it and yeah. they're like some people say that when they plug in their huawei phone it plays annoying you know yeah it makes so, it makes sound guys, it's a meme what guys are you it's doing? a meme don't yeah. do yeah exactly yeah where's our train <laughs> thing it's gotta gotta be around here somewhere right let's uh there we go. anyway back to this whole thing guys um take a look a lot of them are just Hanging, freezing, yes. right? Like this. Yeah, see? Huawei Mate 60. Here's another guy. Take a look, just hang. This is what you said. 打不开了，打开了它也是死机的，必须得删掉，聊天记录全部没有了，我周围删的，他妈我周围删的，我这个聊天记录都没了，我咋办呢？啊，损失惨重，充电非常的碳。Yeah, so you know what he's saying is I can't even open these apps. If I try to open that, you know, WeChat, it just crashes the phone. And he says when he charges it, it's incredibly hot. And well, 还有时候充不进去。华为说，是因为那个充电保护太烫了，它就不让充。我充个电还那么烫，烫的膜都已经烫了两，烫掉了两次。See, he's showing that the screen protector is even peeling off from the heat. Yeah. When he, 
he charges it. Anyway, now here's a <laughs> yeah, here's a great insight into first of all China, but also something that nobody actually talks about when it comes to Huawei yeah. phones, and yeah. it's super important, guys. Yeah, pay attention to this. So first of all, look at this mess. See all this junk flying across the screen? This is how the majority of Chinese people I know watch. It's called wild content. subtitles. Like if they're going to watch a TV show, yeah. like just say you want to binge watch something on Netflix. In China, this is what they're seeing. They're called yeah. wild subtitles. And this is like people can add comments kind of as things are going, you know? Yeah. And they'll be like, oh, wow, he's going to kiss her or something. You know, that kind of nonsense. And it comes don't up do it. Screen. Don't do it. Yeah. Or someone's like, he but, totally kills her in the end. Yeah, exactly. But <laughs> the thing is, for some reason, and it's a, it's got to be a cultural thing. But Chinese people love this. It yeah. adds so much value to whatever they're watching, right? My wife watches with this stuff on too oh sometimes. Gosh. Like I, not I, as much these days. Yeah. Because I I always make fun of her when she does. Because it's like, can you actually see the the show you're watching? You know, it's just wild subtitles. Anyway, that's something you can see. That's a cultural thing. But here's somebody. What they're doing is it just drives me insane. Even looking at this. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna take it down. Here's how um, the Huawei Mate 60 and the Huawei phones in general really screw you over, okay? They put adverts in everything. Yeah. Okay, so now you're you're buying a phone and it costs the same uh, as... $1,100. Okay, so it costs the same as the entry-level iPhone 15, right? Actually, it's more. Isn't it like... Yeah, it's more than the entry-level. Yeah, yeah. So It's, it's co way worse. Yeah, it costs the same as iPhone 15. Mm. Now, here's the thing. Let's take a look. I'm going to fast forward a little bit. He does a comparison between Apple and he does a comparison between the Huawei Mate 60. So let's just take a look at something here. Okay. Okay, let's get through this stuff. Let me get, get an example up on the screen here, sorry. Okay, you know weather, right? I do. Okay. So you know when you open up... You know when you open up the weather on your phone in... Um, in Apple, it tells yes. you what the weather is, it right? Does. In in Huawei phones, when you open up the weather app, adverts pop up. <laughs> okay, look, that's there's... so par for the course for the yeah. 360 uh, 360 yeah, yeah, yeah. OS in China. Yeah. Whenever I had to do a presentation, mm -hmm. I'm like, you know, that big thing. Yeah. I'd try to open something, and ads would be I everywhere. I know it's awful. It's awful. So adverts pop up, okay, in your weather app, which is ridiculous. Okay, it's supposed to just tell you the weather, right? And then he shows, like, when you open up the iPhone uh, weather app, there are no adverts in there, okay? It just tells you the weather, as it should, okay? This is the Huawei wallet, okay? You know the Huawei wallet? Yes. Okay. Also, adverts popping up. See at the top there? <laughs> My God. Imagine you open your wallet to pay for something and adverts are popping up in your, in this your face. This guy's loaded. Oh, yeah, no, that was just an example. Yeah, <laughs> see, you open up the um, iPhone wallet, and there are no ads. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is, I guess, the browser. Can't see. Yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> what <laughs> this guy watching? This? I have no idea. No idea. Once again, the algorithm is really catered yeah. to this guy. Yeah, that was the browser, yeah. you see? Like, Sorry. when you open Safari, and that's just the default screen that comes on when you open the browser, just yeah. adverts. Yeah. How about this, okay? The health app. Yes. So you know like on iPhone or whatever, you have a health app and it tells you like how many steps you've done or mm. you've worked out or whatever. You open up the health app on the Huawei, it's got card like EV adverts and stuff popping up. I would, I'm going on record here. <laughs> yeah. I would pay to not have this phone. I mm. would actually mm. give money to not have to have it. Not yeah. with something alternative. I would rather not have anything. Yes. I mean, do you guys understand? This is an expensive phone. It costs the same as the iPhone. $1,100. But they're subsidizing this by throwing tons of ads. They're making yeah. money from advertisers. Yeah. Because it costs you. so much to me. Yeah. Yeah. Because it is so stupidly expensive for them to make it because they're using very bad technology on the chips. But imagine that. Imagine you buy your phone for $1,100 and you're still bombarded by ads for every app you open and remember these are mandatory apps 
you cannot like have the Google Play Store or anything on your yeah. you know yeah. you have to have these apps full of adverts absolute nonsense you know what i mean see it's just bombarded with ads in the health app as well not just when you open it but inside the app too it's um it's pathetic right and this is kind of a hidden thing that people don't talk about. You could say it's got a nice camera if, uh, and that kind of thing. Yeah. But it's about the um, <coughs> user experience, right? Yeah. Now, the Huawei store, of course, is going to be full of adverts. The Apple store is too, but it's adverts for uh, apps. Right? Yes, yes. And the Huawei store, I believe they've got adverts for just random stuff in there too. That's right. Yeah. So... That's just, you know, we can we could go through all this. It's unnecessary, but it just shows you the amount of BS adverts and stuff you have to deal with when you when you have a Huawei. Yeah. And it's all Huawei's. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's true. So, yeah, that pretty much brings us to the end of the segment. <laughs> the be-all and the end-all of this nonsense is, guys, that um, the Apple iPhone is still very much in demand in China. As we yes. can see, it's selling out. There's huge queues of people trying to buy the thing people in china still want the iphone it is a far superior product to the huawei they try to play it down to say like oh look the iphone only has USB C." yeah it's not true there was a fantastic chinese tech reviewer which i shared on twitter oh yeah it's great he broke it down the new um, <clears throat> advancements in the camera are incredible and also the fact that it can play triple a games like resident evil and stuff you can plug it into your tv with like a cable and you it's can insane. Play it. yeah it's and so it good. runs it's really well we are not it's, sponsored by apple no, but it's very good it's very good and of course you're talking about a 3 nanometer chip yeah china's still messing around with a 7 nanometer chip which is being very badly produced anyway yeah. It's light years ahead. So yeah. why would anyone not want to get the iPhone 15, Makes especially no since it costs the same? Makes no sense. Yeah. And you don't have to deal with adverts in every part of your yeah. phone yeah. and it overheating and freezing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So the Huawei thing that's supposed to be this big sanction buster that's supposedly just skyrocketed China ahead and all that is actually just propaganda nonsense as usual. You know what I mean? And by the way... Turns out that they're using uh, Korean memory chips in it anyway, which they're not supposed to. And it looks like, because you know what, when they took the phone apart, they found two Korean um, memory chips. And they completely <laughs> removed all the markings off of them. So you can't see that they're Korean, but they are. Oh. They run tests on them. They found yeah, out they are yeah. Korean chips. They're not supposed to have those right. because of sanctions. So they either got them through deception by saying, because... They can still be sold memory for their 4G stuff, mm. okay? So they probably said this is for a 4G device. That's why they haven't made the Mate 60 Pro. They don't say 5G anywhere on it. Oh. They still can get away with saying it's a 4G phone with 5G speeds mm. or something. It's probably why, so that they can deceive sanctions to get the chips that they need. Interesting. So yeah, there's a lot There's a lot going on with this phone, huh. but it's, it's basically um, an exercise in theft and deception and copying and propaganda yeah we've seen it we've been talking about it for ages but it's funny to see what happened when iphone was actually released yes that's just icing on the cake it, it absolutely is guys just painting the pig black so you can sell it for a lot more at market let's move on to some more hammy hammy humor okay <laughs> wow they're going for it aren't they some of his clothes were thrown out, out the window. A lot of them were cut up. Some of them were burned. She was too crazy. She lunged at him with a knife. She was in this jealous rage. If you don't go home now, I'm going to walk out into traffic and kill myself.